Hello, I'm Kasia from Everything Art. I am super happy and excited to share with you some bite-sized chunks from our Wanderlust class. It's a year-long class, online class, where we talk about mixed media and art journaling. And on this class, we are trying to encourage you and motivate you to create more often and to create more, especially in mixed media. And that is why today I want to show you a little bit different tool product that is very exciting and easy to use but can help you stand against your creative block sometimes because you know we always we sometimes have uh, such moments when we feel like we would want to create but what to create how to start am i bothered maybe not i know that very well so this tool that i'm going to show you is a perfect help because you can create quickly and the effect is really nice. And it's a gelatin plate, tool for monoprinting without a press. This specific product that I got on my table is called Jelly Plate. It comes in various sizes and shapes, but they all work same and it's really easy. It's thick, it's elastic, it's soft, but unfortunately it would be pretty useless without good quality acrylic paints. And that is why on my table today I got some System 3 heavy body paints from Dale Rowney, which will be just perfect for, uh, for this jelly plate. Uh, what else you need is a brayer, some pieces of paper and uh, maybe wet uh, tissue just to clean up your brayer quite quickly. We will also use some uh, stencils and watch tools to uh, give it a bit more interest, but for a basic technique, acrylic paints and a brayer is all you need. Okay, so let's start here. Uh, I will use, I think, this yellow ochre because it's a beautiful color. And you just apply paint straight on your uh, jelly plate. Maybe I'll mix it here with uh, cadmium red. These are lovely paints, heavy body, so they're thick and they can also help you create some texture. And now with a brayer, you just roll it. And you see colors are immediately mixing on your jelly plate and they look amazing already. The key is not to not to put too much paint on your jelly plate. I think that's enough. And I got some copier paper, just a plain paper. You put it on, press it. You don't have to push too much. Don't get crazy here. <laughs> And that's all, it's done. You see, that's a basic technique with, with gelatin plate and uh, heavy body acrylic paints. And it's beautiful. Just think about all these uh, possibilities that now you have that it gives. It's gorgeous and you think, okay, that's all right. But now look at the um, ghost print. So another piece of paper, they, they're, because there are still some leftovers uh, of paint on your jelly plate, you can press it and have another one which is even more interesting because it's much more irregular as you can see. So I really like ghost prints. I think they're the most exciting. And as you can see, my jelly plate isn't very clean. Oops. But uh, that's a very nice thing about jelly plate that you actually don't clean it. That's better when you if, if you don't clean it because you will always pick up some old paint, you know, some extra color. So. Yeah, it's good to not to clean it, which is an amazing thing for me. <laughs> okay, uh, I still have some paint on my brayer, so I can roll it on my jelly plate. I'll add a bit more of this yellow ochre because I just like it so much and it turned too, too red for me now. What I've got here are some uh, combs, some wedge tools, some blades. Uh, you can make them yourself, you can, you can buy them in shops, but you know they are very interesting and I think you can have some fun with them and just play. Get another piece of paper, press it. And 
this is what you get. Another background that can be a perfect start for your mixed media works or our journaling projects. And of course, goes print quickly while it's still wet. Oh, that's gorgeous. If you can imagine this on a black background, wouldn't that be so beautiful? Wow, that's really nice. Okay, now I want to change the color. So I will just clean my uh, brayer quickly. Actually, keeping a wet tissue in a plastic tube is very helpful, you know. Okay, and now without cleaning uh, my jelly plate, because there are still some reds on it, I'll put some black. Maybe a bit more. You know, fluid paints wouldn't work here that well because they wouldn't, especially if you want to work with combs or wedge tools, because they wouldn't keep uh, this shape, if you know what I mean. Heavy body paints, they, just, they make just perfect uh, prints. And I'm gonna play with these wedge tools on black. And using one of my previous prints, this one, yeah. So I got already two layers and now aren't they lovely? You know, especially if you could be here, not on a, looking on the video, watching the video, but here in the reel, you can see these layers, this red coming through black and it looks so beautiful. And of course, ghost print. This is my previous print. A bit more delicate, but also so beautiful. Okay, I think I will be using black again. But maybe now I'm gonna add a little bit of mm, this red, crimson. And now I'll show you jelly plate uh, mono printing with a stencil. Firstly, I'm gonna make just a normal print. And a ghost print. So you see no paint is wasted here. Mm, gorgeous. And now I'll add some, some cadmium red on my, to my jelly plate. And I've got a stencil here, which is actually my design made for the crafters workshop. Some beautiful romantic flowers, something I really like. So I'm gonna put it on my jelly plate with paint on it already. Sometimes when you have a layer of stencil, you might find it useful to just use another brayer to push it press it and we've got a very delicate print I'm not sure how you can see it in a camera on a video but because of colors that I used in the background were quite you know similar to the print but it looks really lovely it's quite mysterious I would say okay and now very exciting thing ghost print of course but that's getting boring doesn't it Ghost print with flowers. Mm. And also we can use this paint that is on a stencil to make another print. This won't be as accurate. Here, spare brayer will be very useful. Mm. 
very subtle but still there it is okay so as you can see in probably a few minutes i made about oh, eight ten prints ten different prints with different tools different colors of paints and you know if you are in the middle of your creative block there is seriously nothing better than than just playing with your paints and getting excited especially when it's so easy and and fast and you think well what next to do with my prints well there are many possibilities now you know i have several art journals which are like my art books books where i do my exercises where i sketch uh, so I have several of them with uh, prints made with jelly plate and here is one you see I have some some background some ghost prints some layered uh, prints and later I just play with them I use my pens my pencils add some collage to it and it's a very interesting uh, little piece of art I think it's mixed media because we're using different media so it's not acrylics only but sometimes you can find on my uh, work some watercolors, some uh, some pens and pencils, pastels, like I said. It's a great way to start. It's a great way to wake up this creativity. So try it if, uh, if you feel like it's something that you might like and have fun. Thank you for watching me and see you next time.